hi long time no see <laughs> um don't mind the messy background um don't mind my cat um i have not posted in like since probably january or february so um sorry <laughs> life has been a lot a lot has happened for the good some maybe not the best but overall i'm very happy and so that's what like this video is gonna be me coming back and just telling you guys like just quick little updates um i might as well give this big one i have a cat now i adopted him on my dad's birthday june 9th his name is comet um I, it was an impulsive decision, but we'll get to that later. I just wanted to give that update because he is like jumping everywhere and making meowing noises. So now, now you know what that is. <laughs> um, anyways, so where do we leave off? We literally left off when I went to Brazil. Um, Brazil was nice. It was a good break. Um, had fun, partied, not gonna lie. Great. As soon as I came back, I moved to Savannah, Georgia um, to attend SCAD and I am a performing arts major. So yeah, fun, whatever. I moved, um, love it here. Love Savannah so much. It's a great city. Um, I really like SCAD. Um, there's always gonna be some pros and cons to any school that you go to. So there are definitely some cons that I don't necessarily love about this um, university, but overall for the most part i really do like it and it has just so many great opportunities um for any major really that you're in uh so i had my first quarter because scad does quarters and semesters so we do three quarters fall winter and spring i started in the spring um and our quarters last 10 weeks so it's very fast paced and you get a shit ton of workload like so much um, but yeah, so that was really overwhelming, um, cause it was like my first time doing like a 10 week quarter that had the same amount of information and like projects and assignments that you would get normally in a one semester, which is like a lot more than 10 weeks. Um, so that was like interesting to kind of, um, get used to and to adjust. Um, in the beginning I was pretty homesick. I missed my parents a lot especially my mom's food. Um, the food here isn't the best. Like the campus food isn't amazing, but you know what? That's like everywhere. So it, it's still good and I still ate, so whatever. Um, yeah, but I was pretty homesick. Missed my friends as well. Cause I was like hanging out with them like every day before I moved here. And then I made really great friends here and that's been obviously like a big plus and just really good. Then after the quarter ended, I really just wanted to stay in Savannah. Um, it was a really big decision to make because um, I just really did not want to go back to where I live back in Florida because I just know mentally it's not well for me. It's just, it's just it doesn't do me well. Um, a lot of my problems stem from where I come from. So I just really didn't want to go back I was I was so happy I am oh my god he's licking his paw and it probably sounds so loud I'm so sorry anyways also I was just having so much like fun and I was really happy to be here so I just really didn't want to go back um so like why move back if I'm happy so you know uh, I got a place um I was renting out a room in this house I stayed there over the summer one way to convince my parents to let me like move here was like what are you gonna do over the summer? Cause our summers are really long. Cause our last day of classes which was June 1st and then we started um, September 11th. So I was like, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work the whole time so I can pay for the place, you know, pay for necessities, groceries, whatever. So I got a job, I work at Target. Very, 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 very mixed feelings about it. Um, but I'm glad that I have a job that does pay well. I am grateful for that, but lot of mixed feelings of working at target but that's it's beyond whatever i still work there by the way anyways um summer passed the summer was good um i had my 20th birthday on july 8th um that was 
it was fun because I did like a little party and we did like a little countdown to like July 8th, you know, because we did it the day prior. Um, and that was really fun and I was with a lot of people that I loved. Um, I wasn't with my family and it was very weird to not be with family because um, we always do like traditions like on birthdays and we're just always together. So it, it, it was really good and I really enjoyed it, but I definitely did also miss my family a lot. Um, then here comes fall quarter. Fall quarter began September 11th um, and I got into a car accident on that day. Um, completely my fault completely my fault i told the officer i told everyone i was like it's completely my fault it was me um i rear-ended someone luckily they are completely fine their car had like the tiniest bump unfortunately my car she got like pancaked so she she's not what she's not she's not well she's not doing okay she's she she's just not good so that kind of like transitions to where i am right now um in the car aspect i have not had a car since two weeks ago maybe like a week ago a week and a half um because i was only able to finally get it fixed get it like an estimated thing on it um like a month and a half after the accident so i only was able to drop it off the 30th of october you know did that whatever um and yeah, and then today I just found out that it's probably only going to be ready by the end of this month. So we just started November and that's like three weeks without a car. And that's like just their estimation. And I don't, I, I don't know. So not very excited because um, my classes are pretty far from where I live. Work isn't that far, but like Ubers are so fucking expensive. It's ridiculous. Um, but anyways, besides the point. Uh, I don't even think I had a point. Anyways, that's what's going on with that. Um, don't really know what I'm going to do for the next three weeks. Luckily, um, finals next week and then we're done because, you know, 10 weeks is up. So next week's our last week and then I'm done. I'm done with classes. So I won't have to like drive too far or like pay an Uber to go too far. Also, I'm really grateful for like my boyfriend and my friends because they've been giving me rides when they can, like when it's convenient to their schedule. Um, and that's been really helpful. So, slay. Um, and also, I do have a boyfriend now. Love, love him. His name is Thomas. And there's probably gonna be a video soon with him. So, yeah. I won't share too many details, but I'm very happy. I'm very content. I'm. I could honestly do like a whole video and like just go on and on about how happy I am um but I don't think anyone would really want to watch that but I'm so happy like I could cry right now but I'm also just like a cancer sign and I'm now I'm tearing up anyways I'm happy I'm happy anyways um I guess that was like all my updates um how do I like SCAD it's good you know it's school um, I was on my first set, uh, I think last weekend, um, actually that's a lie, my first set was for a music video that I did in the spring quarter, but I was just an extra, so like I didn't really get to experience much, but it was still like an experience, like there was a professional camera, lighting, all of that, then last weekend I was on set, um, filming, and it was just really fun, it's been really fun, um, my acting classes are so much fun um I think it keeps showing me more and more slowly that like I do want to be in the performing arts industry whether that's singing or acting or both I definitely do want to be a part of that and so I'm happy that that is my major and that is what I'm focusing on um I don't really know if I have like anything else like that's just kind of like what's going on right now like finals is next week so I have to do my final project for my design class and then um, I just have to like do a bunch of self tapes for my audition class and then for my other class, this is a really long video, I'm so sorry, for my other class um, I just have to do a monologue so pretty simple. Um, but yeah, I literally just remember that I forgot to give the like biggest like new information update. Um, I have my own apartment and it's really nice and I'm really happy and this is where I'm building at right now. So like over the summer, you know, 
I rented a room. I was subleasing it, was staying there, whatever. Um, and it was just too expensive. And because I did not get housing for the fall because SCAD transferred way too many freshmen, which is fine, it's fine, because I have a place to live, but it was really annoying because it's like, I already go here, so like, why, why, just why? Anyways, that was really annoying, but I'm here now. <laughs> like, I'm still here, but it's okay. I found a place. That, I'm not even gonna go on a rant about that because I've already have so many times and it's just not worth, it's not worth it. It's just not worth the talk because I am in love with the place that I live. Um, so beautiful. I love my apartment. I can't believe this is my first one. Like, I think, I don't even know. Like, I don't think I really, like, have sat down and been like, wow, like, this is what I dreamed of. Like, I've dreamed of, like, like, living away and having my own place and having a cat and, like, having that all come to fruition is just insane and I'm really happy. Um, so yeah, I am really excited to decorate my room. She is, like, pretty bland. She doesn't really got a lot going on like she has stuff going on but like she's not the cutest thing in the world and I'm gonna fix her and that's why I'm really excited to be back because I can do videos and I feel like that will motivate me more to do things also my closet is a mess and that will definitely be a video that I need to do um or that I'm gonna do and something that I just really need to fix because it's such a mess right now um because I didn't like fully unpack everything so it's just like it's, it's a lot but anyways um yeah also I have a kitchen it's so nice like it's just so nice I love it I love it here I have my own bathroom um it's great live laugh love but yeah I think that's like all the updates like everything that's new and fascinating that's been going on in my life I don't think I missed anything I think I really I think I really said everything that I really needed to um but yeah so that's it um i have a cat now i have a boyfriend <laughs> um i have my own apartment um with great roommates um they're really great and we're all like um in the same like niche whatever like my one of my roommates is also a performing arts major and then the other one is tv and film so we're all like intertwined which is really good and we get to like help each other out so that's really nice but yeah um i'm excited for doing the youtube videos again i missed it and i need to just get back on a routine honestly um I, actually i did forget to say something mentally how am i doing i think mentally i'm good i'm happy like i'm in a really happy loving relationship that's actually healthy for once and it's amazing it's so good um and it, it's I, once again i could rant on and on um but besides that like because obviously i have a life besides just a relationship um i i've been going up and down but i really think it's because i just don't have a routine um and now that i don't have a car that's going to be even harder um, because back home, like, I was going to the gym consistently, I was eating well, because, you know, my mom was cooking, uh, I don't really know how to cook, um, actually last night, though, we made, uh, breakfast for dinner, and it was really good, because I can make bomb-ass pancakes, and then we made bacon and scrambled eggs, like, me and my boyfriend, we fucked that shit up, it was so good, but, yeah, I just, I just need a routine, I need a journal again, because I know that's good for me, I need to find a therapist, um, out here because it's just I've always been in therapy and I think it's really good to you know talk to someone about things process things so yeah so there's like little things that I still need to figure out even though I've almost been living here for a year which is crazy like March is literally almost here like what like anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video I can't wait to make many more videos and covers because I do want to get back into singing so badly um i missed it so much and yeah so i will see you guys in the next video 
Hope you liked it. You should subscribe because I swear that I have more interesting things than just this update video. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty cool. I'm, I'm just I'm just a really cool person and you should totally subscribe and like and comment and you know the stereotypical youtuber stuff so yeah anyways thank you for watching bye